Taylor Graham was sacked on the very first play from scrimmage. Rolls out here, chase from behind, throws, and it's picked off. Intercepted by USC, Suya Cravens, the freshman. The first USC freshman to start at safety since Darnell Bing in 2003. Coaches have been raving about this guy, and he makes an immediate impact for the Trojan defense. Andrew, what they said they love about Sua Cravens is his nose for the football, his ability to be able to break on the football, tremendous ball skills, strong hands. Look how he breaks on this, times it, jumps in front of the receiver as if he was the receiver. For a true freshman to be able to do that and make such a big play in this game is outstanding. The 2012 USA Today Player of the Year. Now Hidari comes on for the field goal for USC. Junior kicker out of Bakersfield, California. 22-yard attempt. And the kick is good. USC is on the board with 7.05 to go in the first quarter. But a tough goal line stand there from the Rainbow Warriors. They hold the Trojans to three. But he did make a bad play, and you got another good quarterback on your roster. Third down and 12. Graham is picked off. Second interception thrown by Graham. And USC will have golden field position. Hayes Pullard with the pick for the Trojans. Well, Hayes better get in the huddle and give his teammate Devon Kennard some love. He absolutely blew up the left tackle. There was some pressure up front right there, hit just as he's throwing it. Without question, Devon Kennard getting there. Ill-advised pass, but it's very hard for quarterbacks, especially ones that haven't played too much, to be able to make good decisions under duress. This is the very thing that Taylor Graham will grow, grow from, and you gotta give credit where credit's due. Pollard made a good play because of the pressure. Those young quarterbacks now, USC having a little bit more too high safety looks. Graham's pass is intercepted. Shaw has it, off to the races. Shaw at the five, and he's in, touchdown, USC. 35-yard return, the third interception tonight for Taylor Graham. To win on the road, Andrew, you got to pack your running game or your defense, preferably both. USC in these last couple of drives have come up with huge plays to be able to get themselves back in this ball game, give themselves a comfortable lead. All of USC's points have come directly off Hawaii turnovers. And here's Sidari for the point after with 2.49 to go second quarter. Extra point is good. Josh Shaw had two interceptions last year Comes up with a big one here today as Kem could not bring it in off his fingertips and right to Josh Shaw. Yeah, you see him coming from the right side of your screen on the crossing route. They tried to run a little pick concept, but as a true freshman, man, going over the middle, you got to bring that one down. That is 100% on him, and oftentimes with young receivers, even as talented as they are and as much potential as they have, concentration and catching the ball first is among the priorities, and he is solely, in my opinion, responsible for that pick six right there. Hawaii desperately needs this one. They're in a cover two, two high safeties right now. Look for slants, posts, and corners. Four verts. Graham got punished again. Pass is incomplete, and Graham, wow, took a big hit. George Uko there. Devin Kennard there. Again, that front four of that USC defense is showing again that they can rush the passer. That's going to help them out all year if they can put that much pressure with their front four. That was Jabari Ruffin, the freshman, applying the pressure to Graham. And now USC, no timeouts, 22 seconds left. What do you do here, Aaron, if you're Lane Kiffin? Man, if I got number nine on my team, I'll take a shot, I think. I think you... You put him on the outside and you say either hit him if he's open or you throw it out of bounds. You don't put yourself in a situation where you turn the football over, but you got some incredible weapons and explosive players. Let him touch it. 
It's been Kessler this entire half for the Trojans over the middle. There's number nine, Marquise Lee has a first down and he'll run out of bounds wisely at the 46 yard line. A pickup of 14 on the play for Lee. I like the play call, they're running the dig from that left side, which is a deep in route. Gets himself in front of the safety behind the linebackers. And again, an open field. There may not be any better in the country than Marquise Lee, and he does a great heads-up job of getting outside, getting out of bounds, and stopping the clock. Just the third catch of the half for Lee, and he also fumbled that punt return. 13 seconds left. Again, USC with no timeouts remaining. Kessler right back to Lee at the 40, and he gets out of bounds. That's where Lee is so dangerous. He can catch a two yard pass and turn it into a touchdown. He did that on the first play of the game last year. Hadari's career long is 50. His long last year was 41. Right now USC has the ball at the 38 yard line. About a 55 yard field goal. So you figure they need at least five more yards to try to give Hadari a chance. Marquise Lee on the bottom of your screen. Kessler gets rid of it quickly to the tight end. That's Grimble making the catch with two seconds to go. And Hadari is going to come out and try to tack on three more before halftime. Be a 42 yard field goal here from the 35. 52, excuse me. 52 yard field goal. Again, his career long is 50. Man, I was asking you to do math and I just <laughs> must melt it. Notre Dame, baby, Notre Dame. Yeah, career long for Hydari. And I think a big play with USC to allow them to go in with a little bit of confidence. It's been a very rough half for both of these teams, but USC's in a much bigger dogfight than they expected. Kick is away, and the kick is good from 50. Andre Hadari matches his career high. And at the break, USC has a 15-point lead, 20 to 5 over Hawaii. Take another look at this kick at just enough on it. And let's go down to the field. Lauren Gardner with Lane Kiffin. So first down and 10 for Hawaii. Fake the handoff. Graham looking intercepted. Dion Bailey. Right there. And that's the fourth pick of the night for Taylor Graham. The junior, Dion Bailey, moving from linebacker to safety this year, and a critical pick for Taylor Graham. Bailey stops the Hawaii momentum. In pass defense last year, only allowing 182 yards per game, and we saw that great, same great coverage in the backfield on that last play. Hadari out for a short field goal. He's two for two tonight. And this 23 yarder makes him three for three. Had the 52 yarder at the end of the half. Three field goals tonight from Hadari and USC increases its lead. Some of those depth issues because of the NCAA sanctions. Second of a three year probationary period that reduces scholarships. And Justin Davis into the end zone, touchdown. USC. The true freshman Justin Davis puts six more on the board for the Trojans and they go up 29 to 5. This is invaluable experience by this young play. They run the gotcha pitch again. We called it a gotcha play because it gets the defense home. Not a very good effort by Naquan Phillips who's had a pretty decent game tonight on that tackle. Justin Davis jumps over him. 